Hi everyone, happy 20th anniversary to Pokemon today on this day, February 27th, 2016. 20 years in the making, so I decided I want to dedicate this episode to my friends, uh, you know, fellow Pokemon trainers, um, Patrick McCallion, and to my friend Ace Trainer Liam, all the way from London, England. I mean, that's, his home, that's Ace Trainer Liam's hometown and stuff, so I'm going to dedicate it to both Pat, my friends Patrick and Ace Trainer Liam for cheering me up and, uh, yesterday, and... Um, this will be for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. So I decided to call this cl special Clarence in His House episode, Clarence in His House, Pokemon's 20th anniversary. So here we go. On February 27th, 1996 in Japan, the, po the series first started with the red and green versions, although the original green version wasn't available in the U.S., but recently, right around during 1998, that Pokemon Red and Blue came out worldwide in the U.S. for Game Boy. I never had a chance to get uh, either of those versions. But in 1999, that's when it changed everything for me. Pokemon Yellow version, it came out in 1999, and it was my very first Pokemon game that I got. And it's so great that I get to start because Pokemon Yellow is based off on the first season, like how the Indigo League is, like how um, it, how it is, and I really loved it. I love the anime, and um, like my favorite character, Ash Ketchum, who is sorry with Pikachu, well, in, my, in the Yellow version I got, which I downloaded today. I brought back Yellow version uh, from the eShop uh, recently. Uh, and I'm really happy to get that back because I thought, ta-da! Pikachu was my very first Pokemon, and it's been my favorite partner ever since over the years. Because, to be honest, I will not let Pikachu evolve. Because I never let my Pikachu evolve in the first place. So, in honor of this episode for the 20th anniversary, I'm going to do whatever I can to remember the history of Pokemon over the years. So, okay, now on to the next segments. Um, Gold and Silver recently came uh, for Game Boy as well in the U.S. And I, I first had the Silver version, and I started with a war type like Totodile uh, way back. I mean, it's great to go to the Johto region. Not only Gold and Silver has the power for you to explore the Johto region, but also the Cantor region too, and face the Gym Leaders there. Because you got do whatever you can. And then the uh, Ruby and Sapphire series came for Game Boy Advance, but this time it's on Game Boy Advance. I, I started with the Ruby version because I like Trico. I mean, Trico was my very home starter, and it's been really great. And But when Emerald version came out, actually, I'll talk about Emerald uh, a few minutes, but... Here's the thing, ever since uh, the remakes of Red and Green, Fire Red and Leaf Green came out in 2004, I started with Leaf Green version, and I thought I start with Charmander, because I thought I want to go fired up, I want to be fired up, and start with Charmander, and um, do whatever I can. And then in 2005, Pokemon Emerald came out, as back to the home region, and this time, um, both Groudon, Kyogre, you can catch, including Rayquaza in it. And this is really surprising. And then, because Pokemon Emerald has the Battle Frontier Challenge, which I really love. So, that is really incredible. And then, in Japan, right around 2006, and then in the U.S. in 2007, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out. That you have to explore the Sinnoh region, and these whole new generation of Pokemon from the fourth generation is really incredible. And I'm really happy that they did that because recently I found out that Pokemon Platinum version was the sequel to Diamond and Pearl. I had to get that one because it has Giratina in it. So I had to get Pokemon Platinum because they had the Battle Frontier there. And then in 2010, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the remix of the original Gold and Silver, came out for DS. And I had to get Soul Silver because I thought I thought I want to start with Cyndaquil on Soul Silver. That's really incredible, right? It is. And then in Japan, right around 2010, and then in the U.S. in 2011, Pokemon Black and White versions came. 
and it's great to go to a universal region, and it's really incredible. And then the sequel to Black and White versions, Black 2 and White 2, came out in 2012. I had to get White version 2 because I thought it was time to get Reshiram. Because I thought in White version that I had, I would want to get Zekrom, and then White version 2, get Reshiram. Because that's really incredible. And then right around worldwide, three years ago in 2013, X and Y came out. It was great to go to the college region and experience Mega Evolutions because not only in X and Y that you get to choose a Kalos Pokemon starter, but also a Cancel starter too. That is really incredible because they have Mega Stones. Because the way I learned about Mega Evolution is so incredible. And I just kind of wish Z version came out because I wish they would announce Pokemon Z because I would like to go back to college region once again. But let's just hope at E3 during around May or June it will happen. And now, recently announced for the 20th anniversary this year, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are coming this year in late 2016 for the holidays. I, I think I might choose Pokemon Moon because I want to see how they shine bright in the moon. So, I think I'll choose that. So, either way, I want to give a special uh, thank you to the Pokemon company themselves, including the creators for the anime, like Satoshi Tajiri, Junichi Masuda, and Ken Suimori, and to Nintendo America, to Nintendo Japan, to Pokemon coming in Japan. Thank you guys so much for keeping this series alive. And all I want to give is, I just want to do whatever I can to be a Pokemon trainer for many years to come because I will never give up because it's an honor and a privilege to be a Pokemon trainer. And I thank you guys so much. So, that's it for this episode. Have a great 20th anniversary this year with Pokemon because it's time. Gotta catch them all this year, now, then, and forever. So do what you can. All right. So until then, see you next time for an, uh, a special episode of Clarence in His House. Until then, gotta catch them all, guys. Happy 20th anniversary. Thank you.